If you were a researcher just two years ago and you were looking for literature, where would you have gone? Google Scholar, PubMed. There were maybe two or three places that you could go to search for high quality research papers. But today, only two years later, we are now looking at AI tools. And in this video, I'm going to be going through the top AI tools that I would recommend that are Google Scholar alternatives. So alternatives to those that we would have traditionally used to be able to find literature. But these are tools that are going to be able to tailor to our research question, to our keywords, and even allow us to filter down things by date and by other very tailored requirements. Now in this video I'm going to be going through seven, I'll leave the timestamps down below and I will leave the links for it to access down below. I may have discount codes that I can give you as well so do check the description bar down below to check it out. The first is Sight. So Sight was one of the first platforms that I discovered straight after ChatGPT was released to the public. Now Sight is really a great tool because it allows you to search for literature using just a few keywords or your research questions. It's essentially just a Google search or a Google Scholar search with an AI element to it. So here I've asked, give me some papers that are about the impact of blue light on sleep. And as you can see, it's searching through lots and lots of literature to find the best results and the best publications that were consulted for that summary. And on the right hand side, you can see the keywords and the search strategy. And then on the left hand side, you can see that it's starting to give me an answer that would be a bit like a mini literature review and essentially allow me to have that quick snapshot of what the answer would be along with the questions. I do think this is a good alternative for if you're looking for quick papers for your literature review. The second is SciSpace. Now SciSpace is one of my favorites and I've spoken about it a lot on this channel. But what you can do here is again, it's quite similar to Sight in that you can search for literature based off of a specific question or a specific topic or keywords. But the thing I like about SciSpace is that it gives you a really nice table. Now this table includes the paper, but also other things like the insight, summary, conclusions. And then you can also choose other things like the methods you use or the objectives, the findings the results and so you can very quickly accumulate a table a bit like a systematic review but a really nice table that has all the details about the paper and also about the topic without having to do too much work so in this one you can see that it's giving me a summary about the mental benefits the physical benefits the skin hydration and I just have all of those papers which most of them are quite recent 2020 21 22 23 I can then export that as an excel file and I now have a perfect file with all all the research papers that are relevant to my topic. But I also like SciSpace as a more all-in-one. So it also includes other tools like writing, paraphrasing, citations, and, and things like that. So I do think it's really cool. And then lastly, the other thing that you can do is also chat to each of these papers. So once you find a research paper that's relevant, you can ask questions about this paper. So anything like give me the key results or give me surprising results or give me a summary or d define something. And it's just, yeah, it's just a really cool way of searching for literature quite quickly. The third is Illicit. Illicit is, again, another one that's very, very similar to Cite. I would say, except Elicit allows you to search for papers to be able to write a research paper. So here, for example, I've given a topic and I'm searching for, for papers. And what it's going to do is actually write me a research report, so which is quite cool and is actually quite unique. So for this question, it's generated, it's found 499 papers, and then it's collected it for me in a report said you know kind of what the main papers are what the, the results were the literature the main results the main markers etc different different kind of uh, statistical analysis here as well and kind of analysis in general and it's created this report for me and then i can export this as a pdf and i'm able to then open this pdf and have the whole report there for me which is really really good yeah i think this is really cool quite unique as well so i like it the fourth is bohemian then we have bohemian Bohe bo I don't know how to pronounce it. Borium. Borium. <laughs> Bohemian. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, this tool. And again, it's another kind of science navigator. It's an AI academic search tool. Similar to, I would say, perplexity in that you can ask general questions, but you can also ask more discipline specific questions. And this gives you answers that are evidence backed. I think with all of these tools I've shown you today, they all give evidence backed answers. So this is evidence backed and it allows you to understand a topic alongside images alongside research papers and alongside evidence that you 
you know that you need to be able to factually say something is something so in this case i've asked how does social cognition influence relationships and it's given me 69 sources which are um, related to this specific topic and it's given me a bit of a literature review so i think this is quite cool as well and another option an alternative to google scholar the fifth is consensus. This is consensus. And uh, again, I think I did a video on this quite recently. Uh, so go check it out if you're interested. But consensus is a, a great way of searching for literature, but it has a special kind of tool that's called a consensus meter, which says yes or no as to if the literature agrees with or disagrees with your question. So here I've said, how does blue light affect autophagy? So this is a how question. So I'm saying how. So it's going to tell me how with research and it's given me the summary of how this impacts but then I can follow up with a question saying does blue light consistently affect so now I'm asking a does question and so it's going to say yes or no and this is based on the consensus of the literature so that's kind of the name consensus that's kind of where it comes from it's basing it off the consensus so it gives you a really nice answer of yes or no and it gives you that snapshot to begin with as to what the literature is saying generally about this research so i've asked another question does blue light exposure affect autophagy in cells and it says yes 18 relevant papers have said yes so this is very strongly yes there's no no in this at all you can also save the papers and cite them and all sorts so it's really cool the next is perplexity perplexity is, is essentially a bit more generic a little bit less academic focus even though it, it did start like that so essentially perplexity is a bit of search for like a google search but an ai google search so here i've asked a general question about a magna carta copy and it's given me an answer it's given me images it's given me sources and lots of factual information that i can go by so rather than just going on google and, and hitting on newspaper articles that might not be correct here i've got a general answer with all the sources that it's got the information from and, and other things as well i can also go on the research tab and then i can specifically look at research so here i've asked a question about predicting the state of self-driving by 2030 and i said can you write me a thesis so you can see that it's going through the stages i'm searching on i'm searching about regulations i'm looking for expert predictions i'm searching for information about this and it just gives me all of that detail and then it went ahead and wrote the whole thesis for me or like a bit of a summary along with all the sources as well which i think is really really powerful and actually quite a unique capability so if you're looking for more of a general topic i think this is quite useful and the last one that i again just very recently discovered is called undermined undermined is a tool that i haven't used a huge amount but i have heard people speak about it and so i thought i'd recommend it today so this is again another kind of search tool where you can look at the literature related to your specific topic it looks through loads and loads of papers thousands of papers and it gives you a bit of a citation graph and um, it also allows you to look at the insights of the literature dive deeper into the responses whether it matches the topic correctly, identify gaps in the literature, quite a few unique aspects of Undermined that I'd recommend. But like I said, I haven't used it a huge amount, but if you're thinking about trying something different, then this is definitely a good, a good one. I hope that you enjoyed learning about these Google Scholar slash PubMed alternatives. I'll leave a link for them down below, as I said, and if I have any discount codes, and I'll also leave them down below that you can use to get a discount on your subscriptions. Of all of them, I wouldn't recommend going for more than one or two. One really would do the job, so choose the one that you feel like is most suitable to you and has most of the characteristics and capabilities that you would enjoy and I'll see you in my next video.